Hello and welcome. You're joining me live here on our very own special Centre Court. My name is Claire Balding and this is the global reveal of the new Jaguar XF Sport Break. Please welcome here live in London, Jaguar ambassador and two-time Wimbledon champion, the number one player in the world, Sir Andy Murray. This car is going to be taking the uh, well, my Wimbledon trophy um, around the country on, on a trophy tour, taking it to schools, uh, tennis clubs, hopefully inspire a few to, to pick up a racket and play. I am delighted to welcome official Wimbledon ball boys and ball girls along with renowned centre court umpire Richard Haig. Quiet please, play. Ladies and gentlemen, as you would expect, in Wimbledon White, the new Jaguar XF Sport Break. Show us what you look like with a wet t-shirt, Rob. <laughs> <laughs> you know. Point of the year this so far. This is what we've been waiting for. Is this going to be a big booming Becker serve? Lovely. Double fault. Are we playing? <laughs> are we playing yeah. double fault? Yeah, that's, Do you that's want to a try again, fault. Jimmy? Yeah. Now the boxing. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, let's do this. So the Jaguar XF Sport Break, having been revealed this morning, is now courtside and hopefully will not be destroyed by tennis balls being hit astray. This side. Uh, right side. Right side. Right. Oh cool. God. Cool. Ready? Oh, <laughs> I don't think Anthony's got the upper body strength for this. Get out of the way! Um, oh, 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 yes! Joshua forces yes! Aaron from Jimmy. Come on! Oh, no. I mean... Yeah, so here um, on behalf of Jaguar, um, they're starting a, a trophy uh, tour with my Wimbledon trophy from last year where they're, they're going to take it around, um, you know, a bunch of tennis clubs and schools um, around the country, uh, hopefully getting a lot of, a lot of kids to, to see it, hopefully inspire a few of them to, to play some tennis, so hopefully it goes well. Wimbledon is, in, in my opinion, the biggest uh, biggest sporting competition in, in Britain. Obviously, Jaguar is, you know, one of the you know the best car brands. It's obviously manufactured in, in Britain. You know, British uh, British engineering, and that's yeah. I think that's why why it's why it's a good fit, and that's why f for me, um, you know, as as an ambassador, it's nice. They obviously they have a, a big involvement in in tennis. They have an understanding of the game and what goes with it, and you know, it works, works really well for me. With what I do, um, it's, it's a lot of space, you know, it can fit everything that, that I need in the, in the booth. Now, obviously, I have my tennis bag, it's got like 12 rackets in it, clothes, can fit the push chair in there, and you know, like I say, because it's big, I'm obviously quite a tall guy, um, you know, very active, it's, it's helpful to have a nice, nice spacious car, so uh, it's good. And it looks, looks good too, which helps. I've never never seen that in, in the car before. So yeah, I mean, when you sweep your, you know, your foot under the back of the car and the the boot opens. I mean, when I did it earlier, you know, people think, you know, it's it's cool. It's cool to, to see that. Obviously, with the sunroof as well, um, it's yeah, it's it's fun. These are fun fun extras on on cars that you know you haven't really seen before. So uh, I enjoy it. Yeah, I always look forward to Wimbledon. I mean, it's you know, the biggest, biggest competition of the year for any of the Brit British uh, tennis players. And um, yeah, I've had some of my best success during the, the, the grass court season. I've played well at Queen's over the years and, and at Wimbledon. So yeah, hopefully can have, have another good run there. Usual, usual suspects, I think, pretty much throughout my career. You've had, you know, Djokovic, Nadal, Federer. Will obviously be be there contending. Um, you know, you've got some of the, the younger guys like Ryanich, who I played in the final last year. He's got a huge serve, and you know his game's pretty well suited to grass. So, you know, a lot of a uh, lot of tough tough opponents. Going to be an interesting tournament. I think. 
Yeah, I mean, look, obviously, I'd, I'd love to, to try and do that. It's not, you know, it's not something I'm, I'm thinking about when, when I'm on the court. But yeah, I mean, to try and try and get to three Wimbledon titles, I never expected to, to have one. So it's a nice position to, to be in, and yeah, hopefully, I can I can add another one this year. Well, it's a wonderful experience. Uh, we're very proud at Jaguar Design to have delivered the second generation sport brake and it's a car that's very close to my heart. I've been involved with XF from the outset, so a great day for us. Uh, mainly around the load space areas you'd expect. Uh, naturally, estate cars have a, a longer cabin, but that gives us an opportunity as well. As uh, I said before, the um, Jaguars historically have been about grace, pace and space, and we use that extra length in the cabin to give the car a beautiful side window graphic. It gives the car a real sense of elegance. Also, that longer roof line can make the car look quite sporty and dynamic, so the car's got a very, very exciting profile and silhouette. Uh, I think the way that we've actually managed to, in some people's opinion, create a car that's even more distinctive, even more striking than the saloon car is. Yeah, I, I think uh, the XF Sport Break has a very distinctive personality. Uh, it is a different proposition to the saloon. I think actually a lot of people identify Sport Break as being a more practical sports car than simply an estate car, so it does give them a choice away from just choosing the XF Saloon. Well, I hope that it has received at least as well, if not better, than the uh, first generation Sport Break. Uh, that car was really, really appreciated by customers and journalists alike. They, they love the way the car looked and they love the practicality. Well, Jaguar has a portfolio today uh, like something I could never have dreamed of when I joined the company 20 years ago. Uh, we really do now have cars for customers in, in multiple segments. We have the F-Pace if you're, if you're an SUV buyer, but also if you need that practicality, but you don't want the extra ground clearance, you don't want the elevated driving position, you want saloon car dynamics and a saloon car experience with extra practicality, then Sport Brake is the car for you. Well, it's a fantastic extension to our new Jaguar XF range. Um, it's the new sports brake in the portfolio, but it really is a brilliant car. I've been driving this car every weekend. It's so much fun to drive. It's a true Jaguar sports car handling. It's agile, it's responsive, but it's really practical as well. So we've got 565 litres of luggage volume behind row two seats, 1,700 litres if you fold that down, and 2,000 kilograms of towing capacity. So brilliant car to drive, brilliant car to use. Well, we've been working with uh, the Lawn Tennis Association for a while now, and really, you know, Jaguar is a very athletic brand, and we're really into sports and sports relationships, and what better relation than uh, tennis for the Jaguar brand here in the UK? Well, Jaguar is the official partner for Wimbledon. We provide about 185 cars for the tournament, and we ferry the players and the officials around during it, and we complete about 30,000 journeys during the course of the tournament itself. Well, it's a beautiful day here in London, but as you say, there's many, many hours of a really committed team um, back in the West Midlands, both in the plant at Castle Bromwich, but also the engineering teams, and people who work tirelessly to bring this car to life. And it's a really proud moment as the vehicle line director to show that car to the world's media, see the reaction we've been getting, which is absolutely fantastic. Well, there's so many really cool features on this car. I have to start with the fact that it's a Jaguar by design through and through. The proportions are stunning. The lines are brilliant. The car is just fantastic to look at. But then it's also awesome to drive. It's so much fun. It's really dynamic. It's really responsive. But one little feature I really, really like is the huge panoramic roof. We've got gesture control on the blind. But that roof's 1.6 square meters in size, and it really creates a light, airy feeling in the cabin as well. OK, well, we've got a number of features in the car. We've got gesture action on the sunblind in the car. You just move your hand backwards and forwards. You don't have to look up to see the button. We've also got gesture tailgate, but I'm also wearing the activity key. And this is a really great feature if you're an active sports pursuits person. You leave your car keys in the car when you go off to do your sporting activity. You lock the car by putting the band against the Jaguar logo. When you come back, you just put the band against the logo again, get back in your car, start up and drive off. 
while our job's always to push the boundaries, the company's grown at an unprecedented rate and we're going to keep pushing it. We've got a fantastic range of engines in the car. We start with our new Ingenium four-cylinder diesel engine at 163 PS, super efficient, 118 grams per kilometer of CO2. Then have the 240 PS four-cylinder diesel, and then we go up to a V6 three-liter diesel at 300 PS. We've also got a couple of petrol engines in the car as well. The new four-cylinder petrol at 250 PS, and the V6 three-liter petrol at 380 PS. So we've got really, really wide range of technology and really great application of our all new Ingenium engine range in this car.